Hi guys, this is T-Bone Pearson here, and I'm going to show you how to render out uh, layers out of Blender and then bring it into After Effects so you can control each layer. So the problem I was having with this shot was that it, all the lighting's baked in because I'm using a lot of photos. So what I want to do is render them out of Blender, which is over here, and I'm about to do the stone wall pass here. Um, so what you do is you turn off the eyeball here I'll show you the whole level let's turn all the eyeballs on so we can see what I did in blender and this is for the show spell fury the fantasy web series uh, thanks so much for watching guys and give me giving uh, giving me your advice um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of these layers you'll see some of my things that did work and things that didn't work all right are they all on oh there's some more I'll have to turn some of these off, obviously. Um, but I've been rendering them out layer by layer, so I then can control each layer in After Effects, uh, which I'm, I love After Effects. So, um, so here we go. I think this layer here, can I just click that? Or what is that called? Roadside. Let's turn roadside off. There we go. There's the shot. Oh, and there's these soldiers over here. <laughs> they shouldn't be in there. They should be Gandhi. How do we... Ch soldiers. There we go. Let's turn those off. So that's pretty much the shot. Let's see. If I hit enter, spacebar, it'll start to play the shot. So I've released this on my YouTube channel. Uh, but basically, this is the shot. And it looks very artificial. Um, and some of you have given me some, some great advice. Um, thank you. Um, but here it is, and I want to control each... Now, why is the horse's head gone there? That is odd. Um, let's see. So I'm going to stop this. Stop. Hit the pause down there. Okay, there we go. Um, so we've got our little guys here in front of the fire. We have our unicorn whose head is cut off for some reason. Maybe he messed with the mafia. Um... <laughs> And uh, we got this frog guy back there. We got two actresses. Um, and so basically, I've rendered these out one by one. I had to use, um, not EV, cycles. Cycles to do the displacement on this to show up. Uh, and that took a while. So let's go over to After Effects for a second. And here we go. These are all the layers I've put in so far. So the eyeball tool will show you all the layers. Now these have to be put in order just like they were in Blender to show up. So there's the background sky layer. And then we have that house over there. The road. The tavern. Little dudes, Jason and Sarah. Uh, Emil and his wolf. We've got a uh, little fire pit. There we go. And so now I'm on to the next step. So the little wall over here. Um, actually, that one doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to render this one out. So I'm going to go back to Blender. And let's find, now I wonder if there's a, like, turn them all off, turn them all on, I guess that, okay. So I want to find the element that I want to render, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I guess I could do that frog guy. Um, so yeah, we'll just go with that. It's there, it's easy, I can see it, and it's great. Now, have you guys done this before? I've done this back in the day in 3D Max, so I could control things. Do I want the sun on? Yes. Leave the cameras on? Sure. Camera right. So I'll then be able to darken each layer, move things around. I, don't, I wouldn't want to move things around. Okay, there's the frog guy, and then the tavern left side. Is that? Okay, there he is there. So I'm going to go over to render. Render controls. I believe that's output properties. There we go. And let's pick a folder for a froggy. So I'm just going to go up a level here and make a folder called frog. And you have to put a transparency layer with it. So After Effects can delete all the, you know, around the frog, right? Set accept. And you want this RGBA, so you're getting the transparency layer. That's the alpha layer right there. And we just go up to a render and animation. And we'll let, oh, 
Aha! Okay, let's go back. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Uh, is it still running down there? Okay, it's done. Um, we, this also, this is your renderer here. Um, your eyeball tool, see the stone wall is still going to be rendered. So you want those all X'd out. Um, and then let's try that again. Where's my frog dude? Is he, oh, yeah, see, and we have to put that on because we want it to render. So eyeball tool, you don't have even have to have that on. It'll still render. Uh, let's test that theory. Render animation of, should be the frog all by himself. Yay. So now it's going to go through the whole move, at which point I'm, I'm then going to add it to the After Effects project. Now let's go back to it and show you why I'm doing this. Um, for instance, someone on Facebook and someone on YouTube actually said the reason why I didn't like this is because it's too flat. And he was totally right. Um, let's give him props. Din Dinerato? Dinerator? Dinerator. Something like that. Uh, he's very helpful and he's very knowledgeable. Uh, he works in, I think, uh, the movie industry. Um, so, see, the light is baked into this photo here. And so I'm just basically using photos. So this is different, the background. Uh, that's different lighting. Um, this is different lighting. That's different lighting. The actors have different lighting. Uh, every This thing has different lighting. So it's not really matching up. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's try actually doing a light wrap on the tavern while the blender thing is going on. Because that was one tip from... Dan on Facebook he said do a light wrap perhaps on some of the pieces uh, and blend the background in. So a light wrap is basically just the light coming from behind something um, and affecting the edges. So let us, so we'll want the sky to come through. So let's just do control D and let's just call this um, light wrap. Light wrap. Now, if you don't know, I broke my wrist. I didn't tell anyone, but uh, I broke it a few days before Christmas. Coming down the stairs, I wasn't paying attention and wiped out. Um, so I've had to learn how to <laughs> do everything with my left hand. So I'm using my mouse with my left hand, but I'm getting pretty good with it. Uh, the cast comes off um, on February 1st. So we'll saw, saw it off, hopefully not my hand, just the cast. And then I have to do some rehab on it. But it's it's feeling starting to feel better in there, but man... I don't recommend it. <laughs> okay, be kind to your wrists. Okay, so that's our light wrap, right? So then we've got to find our tavern layer. So it's all all there. So let's put our light wrap above the tavern. Now let me try to remember this. I've been doing this quite a bit recently. Um, we want to... Uh, we want to do a set mat. So, yeah, see... Uh, th 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 we can go up to our effects... And we'll put in set mat. See how I've been doing them. I used to have a plugin. I forget what company made them uh, for light wrap. And it was so easy. Um, but I've been looking into how to do it just manually. And I have been doing it. But you just have to keep repeating the process until it's burned into your brain. So it's still a little uh, not burned in yet. So let's put a set mat on there. Um, and then take the mat from tavern because blender would have added an alpha layer like an, a mat so you can see i don't know if you can see it in the video but there's a little uh, faint line there um, so set mat we also want to put a fast blur on there that'll control the size of the uh, light wrap fast box blur and we'll just jack that up blur radius see i as you can see we can we're controlling how the light from the background comes into it. Um, so we're gonna do that. And we have to duplicate this, so Control D. And we want to invert this one. Uh, this mat's gonna go below, and we're gonna go invert. All right, now what does that do for us? Let's try to solo the layer and to see. So by soloing, you're just hitting this little circle button beside the eyeball tool, and it's just that layer. So you, as you can see, the background's coming around the side of our tavern. Now we don't want it down here uh, because it wouldn't be <laughs> coming through the ground. Um, but as you can see, it's starting to uh, give us a light wrap. So the background sort of, it blends it in better. Now, is it 
should we pull back a bit? Maybe a little bit. You know, it's not too bad. It sort of gives it like a misty look. Um, but there shouldn't be any down here. So what can we do? Let's solo the layer and just see if we can put a mask on there. And um, let's see where the horizon is. Right about here. Although there's stuff back in there. So I don't know if this is going to work. But hey. Oh, and our blender thing's done. So we can move on. So let's go to our mask. And let's just go. Let's see if we can just pull off this bottom. Hopefully... Maybe it could work. Nope. Okay. So, well, it will work. We just have to go down to our light wrap, mask, and then invert it. And let's just add a little bit of a feather to it, to the edge. And then now the light wrap will only be on the top half. Let's unsolo, hit the circle, and there we go. And we have, see, there's a hint of it coming in there. Um, so, yeah. So, this is why you want them on separate layers, right? Because I could just do it to this layer. Um, I don't want to do it to the road, um, but I'll probably do it to this as well. Let's just quickly do it to that. So what is that? What did I call that? It's just called the house. All right. And we're going to take another sky layer and control D. And I'm just going to hit enter to rename it and call it light wrap uh, house. Now I'm trying to be very um, disciplined and naming all my layers because if you see my, some of my videos, I got like hundreds of layers, which uh, can be very uh, confusing to find things. So we're going to put that on top of our house, which is where? Oh, it's just right there. And I wonder if we can just go to our light, original light wrap and just copy these. So I'm just going to shift click all these and then it's going to edit copy. My hands broke, so I can't do many hotkeys. Uh, so there's a lot of clicking. Uh, light wrap house. And I oh, actually can do this one, control V. And we're just going to change the uh, things here. We're going to change it from take mat from tavern to take uh, mat from the house right there. And this one too, we're going to add the house. Um, now, it's easy to do here um, with these blender things. But if you're bringing in footage, a lot of times you have to go to source effects and masks so if you're like deleting a green screen uh, or doing a mask you just want it you have to come from there but from blender you don't have to do that so let's just go to this light wrap house hit solo oh yeah there it is there so and again we want to not have it come through the ground so let's just do a little quick mask here we may have to invert this just like the other layer yeah so we'll just go down to mask do the drop down and invert or i can just say subtract instead same thing all right, and I could feather that, but I'm not going to. All right, so let's have a look there, and let's see if we can get more of an effect on this house. So I'm going to space bar over with the hands, and I am now going to look. Oh, let's bring the uh, solo it and add some more with the blur. You're bringing in more of the background. Then let's have a look. Have a looky there. Now it's sort of like blending in, like the lights coming and hitting part of it um, and hitting the house a bit. So, and I guess it's hitting this, this this down here too. Let's have a quick look at that. Solo that. Yeah, so it's coming in through here too. Although we're going to put a wall in front of that. All right, so let's bring in our froggy dude. Where are you, Mr. Ribbit? So we're going to go file, import. And I'm rendering these out as targas. So I'm just going to go up a level. These are all the layers I've done, just so it's nice and um, easy to understand. Go to frog. And we're going to click this. Just make sure you have this Targa sequence checkboxed. Check boxed, um, and then hit import. So that After Effects knows what to do with it. Just go with it straight, unmatted. And let's just grab it. And we have to put it in the order that it was in Blender. So it would be... Now there's nowhere for him to stand. But let's just throw him on the top. For now, he'll just show up in the distance here. So now we have to find the next layer to go. So this is done. X off it. And now, let's take the froggy boy off there. Um, yeah, there. And now let's find the stone wall. So I'm going to go eyeball. That's it. I almost like the other one, but we'll just have a look and see what happens here. And we'll go here. And that just means it renders. And I could turn off the eyeball tool, but I'm not going to. 
We also have to go to our output properties. Yes, output properties and click the folder, go up one level to add a new folder. I'm going to call this uh, wall. Hit enter, double click inside the folder, change your name here to wall. Again, proper naming. Trust me, I, I hate naming and taking little steps like that, but I've learned my lesson. It will save you time. Let's go up to render animation. So it's just taking the data we gave it, like which folder and what to call it. And now frame by frame, it's going to render out just that piece. So we then can manipulate it properly. So let's just let that go down and go back to our composition in After Effects. What else can we do here? Um, these, let's look at Emil here, our caveman. Um, now, they, I guess they would be in the shadows from the tavern. Um, he could, maybe the Emil could be a little brightened up, um, but then it would affect his house, or sorry, his house, his wolf, his pet wolf. Um, I guess we could make shadows. Now the sun would be where? I'm not quite sure the sun is in this thing. Uh, let's go maybe low or farther in the comp and see where, what we can get from this. It just seems like this is like a big white source of light back there. So the shadow, whoa, he's actually levitating. See, I guess I could fix that too quickly if I was in a pinch, but let's see when he comes off the ground. See, I could re-render. Oh, that's another reason to do it, right? So if I wanted to just fix a meal here, I could just fix it in Blender and render out just that layer and then stick him in and he would fit in. If it was all rendered at once, um, you'd have to render the whole thing over, which could take forever. So yeah, he seems to levitate right here. I could perhaps fix that. Let's see if we can actually just easily fix it in here. So when does he come off the ground? Uh, hello. Taking a while. Well, I guess Blender's doing its thing, right? So it's eating up all my RAM and GPU or they're fighting. So he's on the ground now. Let's just hit enter and just watch. And this is super slow. And I'm at half here too. It's just, I guess, because Blender's taking up all my resources. Oh, and I'm recording OBS as well, right? So here's my plan. Let's go down to a quarter resolution down here just so it's faster on my computer. And let's just, we just need a meal. So let's solo a meal. And a solo meal. Um, also the the ground, right? We want tavern ground, there we go. And now I guess we're comparing it to the tavern, so we'll solo that. So we have them all soloed. So it's just these layers, and then hopefully it'll render quicker. And hit enter, and let's just get a preview here. I'm, what I'm going to attempt to do is just try to easily fix it in um, After Effects by adding a null layer. I might track it and attach it to him when he starts to float. Because Blender's busy right now, and I don't want to... I guess I could go in there and just re-render him out, but I have time. Although After Effects is super slow right now. So um, let's see. Can we... So when does he pop off the ground? When do we notice he's coming off the ground? He probably is already off. It's just so right about there, right? It looks like his feet are on the ground, right? His heel looks hovering here. Let's zoom in so you guys can see and I can see. All right. So um, see, he's on the ground there. So let's see if this works. I'm going to make go to layer, null layer, null object. Let's just put it right on top of a meal so we know what it is. And by all rights, I should just name it. I, I've got to be good. Null a meal. Okay, now what tracking data am I taking? I guess I would take it from the tavern. Or I could take it from the road. Um, now this is tough when it's a quarter view. Let's go full and zoom in. Actually, let's just take this rock. Let's try to track this rock. So I'm going to go to the road layer. Uh, where are you? Oh, gr ground layer. And we're going to go to tracker. Right there. Track motion. And we'll just do all three. Now, everything's went black. 
How dare you? Okay, there it is. It's because we're uh, well over it. Let's just pull these down. Hit the space bar. Bring these down to the road. So we're going to track the road, use that data to apply it to a meal from that point. Now, is After Effects screwing up? Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, now we got to find out where. I guess if we're close to where Emil's feet were. Now, Amiel is a. Amiel, that's it. He's a good friend of mine and an actor. He's been acting for since 2000, and he's been in a lot of my projects, and he does a great job. He's played a few characters. Let's double check. How can I do this? I'll go to footage. No. I'll go to composition. So I guess he's close to the frame. So let's just, there's probably an easier way to do this, but uh, let's go one, two, th the third rock up. Third rock from the sun. Good show. All right, so it's more down here, right? So as long as we're close, hopefully it'll work out. So I'm just gonna grab the corner of this and track that and corner this and track that. And now let's just hit over here, this play button. And let's see what happens here. It's it's holding on to that thing pretty good because I guess it's not really moving that much. I'm used to tracking live footage, so this is pretty darn good. All right, so it's going out of. Let's just stop it. Spacebar, turn it to a hand tool. Um, hit play, and then we're going to apply it to that nuller we made. Oh, something happened there. What is going on? Oh, I guess it, oh, it's still, it's not moving. All right, so we'll just let it ride out. There's only another few frames here. And we want to edit the target and apply this to the null layer. So basically we're just putting information on that layer that we can attach things to. We'll apply. And we'll go here. This is where Emil started to float. And now, hopefully, in theory, if we go to Emil's lair, uh, we just want to go to this toggle switches and modes down here. So we get, yeah, this stuff here. So we want to link it to the data. And hopefully he doesn't move. Good. Um, and now let's see. Now he's still going to raise up, right? So let's just have a look. All right, so it is rendering out. And I guess I'm on full because I did that for the tracking. Let's bring it down to a half and just see what's going on here. All right, so we're hitting play. Let's go to our preview. You see, you get cash before playing, but it's not playing right now. It should be playing. Okay, so he's hovering up. Now I, he should be track. He should be attached to that data. Let me have a look here. I may be getting confused because it's baked into the move is baked into see this is the tracking data right here and it's funny it's tracking it over there I guess I, I went down this way and he was off to the side no let's just go anchor point click halfway whoa <laughs> and then let's we're gonna animate the we're gonna put the uh, put him back what does that do for us did our data do nothing here I'm learning on the fly or I'm figuring this out on the fly so let's watch what he happens to him see I could just hand animate him in there I thought the tracking the data would be easier but it doesn't seem to be working so I've done something 
So I'm going to, yeah, okay, let's, well, if you didn't know how to do a, a motion tracking, you just learn. So let's just actually get rid of all the data on this. Because it's baked in, right? Because, I yeah, okay, it's baked. Usually there's no movement in my actor's, because um, it'll be a still camera if I'm shooting in front of a green screen. So then when I try, I attach it, it works. But this, his motion is baked in from Blender. That's why I got to wrap my head around that. So actually, let's just do, so let's just hand track it in. Okay, oh, while, while we're doing this, let's shift over here and do it another layer. So then our stone wall is rendered out. Let's go turn off our stone wall and let's find those other buildings. Tavern left side. Yeah, so this allows our frog to actually stand on something instead of just a void um, where he would fall in and be very unhappy with us. Unless there's a swamp down there. Okay, so let's render this out. But of course, we have to do our folder. We want everything put into its own folder. And we're just going to call it this left side uh, house. I don't know if it's a house or not, but that'll do. And then also call this layer left side house accept and now when we render we're just going to get that so go up to render and render animation let's make sure everything's going good there good 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 now there's a sign <laughs> there's a sign on there that says meritis kraus platform or something like that so it's it, this stuff's all small in the shot but because it's an After Effects, I could put a blur layer on that. Um, or I could always just do it in Photoshop or in After Effects, blur it out there, and then just re-put it into Blender and render it out. Um, but I guess I haven't seen that up so close that I noticed that. So, all right, let's go back to After Effects and let's have a look at Emil here. So where does he... Um, I was thinking about getting a new computer. Any advice, guys? I was thinking like a... Uh, 3080 or 3080 RTX um, and there's one I could get I guess it, it's probably like 3400 bucks because I'm sort of hitting some annoyance when I have Blender going and I have After Effects and Premiere and my computer is old-ish it's still a really good card but so what I, I'm so what I want to do is I'm just gonna watch his feet so it looks like yeah let's go we'll go from there so basically i'm just sort of hand doing this uh hopefully it looks okay let's just actually go i don't want to go too far so i lose what i'm trying to track to and so his feet are on this right there and on that right there so i'm just going to try and match that up now they're the angle is let's go to arrow tool and Just trying to match it up to it's probably easier just to do in blender but i'm rendering something so we'll go to this we'll just sort of hand do it and move a few frames now which one I'm losing which rock it was okay it's that one and that one is that now have those moved i could be a waste of my time here folks but it's worth a shot yeah, it looks like he's still moving. Okay, he's on there. And then his feet. I am. I've already screwed it up. So he's like... He's up on... Oop. He can fly! Ah, come on, computer. Yes, like I'm saying, is it... Although, see, I want his feet on the ground. Uh, no, not there. Okay, let's go Control Z, go back one. See, <laughs> with the other two people, I hid their feet, so I didn't have to deal with any issues. Well, their feet weren't shot on the green screen. Um, all right, so let's. I don't know why this isn't playing real time. What's it say? Play video and preview. With sound, we don't need sound. All right, so. I should almost just look for, like, instead of the, the stones, because they move. Even look, see how the, the whole tavern's slipping? 
it's yeah it's moving too I should maybe just sort of attach them to the um, this thing right here like like attaches heel to it or something and see if it okay so he's in front of it eh? all right let's go back exciting YouTube huh guys so yeah, his heel's sort of like there actually where's my first keyframe where he's already hovering Maybe I should get, I like it better here. Let's make a keyframe there. See his heels attached to that. Perhaps I can just attach there. So let's turn the anchor point keyframes off, set a new keyframe. And I'm just gonna try to line it up with that heel to that. So that's what you're looking for. So let's just uh, animate the, oh, and our, looks like our other render is done. Oh, it's all backwards. I should just be just doing the position instead of the anchor point. Okay, so so if I can just keep manually, let's see what happens there. All right, see, yeah, I want that heel to that. So I'm just manually doing this. And, and back in the day, this is how you'd have to do it in uh, film history before computers automatically do it for you and track it. And now there's also Buju or something like that in After Effects that I... I haven't used that it looks like people are using but I usually just use this tracker all right let's just go ahead a few frames and just let's line up that heel where's this what's this do for me it's not updating me okay that and let's get them off the air and hopefully that's good and let's go a little bit more and manually track a meal in there Yeah, let's get him there, hover. Usually he a meal is far away, but he comes down and spends time with me for about a week every year, and then we film, 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 and we, we get him to play lots of characters. All right, there we go. And he was my lead actor in some of my first feature films. In Zarko, he, he was the Troy... In Idiot and Scorpion, he was the he was max damage. All right, so let's now it should render out here. Hit play and see what happens, and hopefully he will stay put. Stay foot. <laughs> okay, let's let that render out or preview. I don't know why he isn't playing as it previews. Move time to preview time. Cache before playback. See, usually when you click that, it will cache it, like go green up there, and then it will play. But right now, what does this one do? Um, it's not behaving itself. So I might have to go at one point to edit and then purge. And you can get rid of all... Should I do that right now? Okay, let's just wait and see what happens. But you go all memory and disk cache, and you purge it. So it's getting rid of a folder where it's throwing all these files these picture files for you it's probably full so he's oh my god so he's a tract with the tavern but the ground is just like going nuts under his feet i wonder if anyone's going to notice okay let's just pull back hit hit space bar and let her ride it's going to start and then we'll come back to this and to see how I may have to find <laughs> hide his feet as well. All right, so see it's rendering there. That's all fine and good. Let's see if we can do another layer here. What else do we have to render? Um, what else is there? Tower. Oh, there's some towers, right? So let's get rid of that tower. I'm not super happy with these towers. Oh. There's a few towers here. What do we, which ones do we want? I guess it's just, there, just that one there. And, oh, there's the unicorn. Um, what else? Anything else? Oh, Sarah and Rula. Okay, so let's just get this one going. Um, what's this called again? Tower right. I haven't done that yet. That's a weird little thing right there. Um, okay. Wonder if, can I, yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, tower right. 
I can do this. So let's go up a level, folder, tower, right. Double click, double left click, and then call it tower right. Now, this is my first time using Blender to do a shot. So I know I got some other tips, but I'm just, I don't have too much time. I've got to finish this and kick this out the door um, and get to the next episode. So I'm not going to do too much more on this, but let's go accept. Um, let's get this rendered out. Render animation. You do your ting while I go over and have a check here. And it is, looks like it's all good here. Let's see, hit spacebar. Please play. Um, dang it. It's uh, misbehaving. Maybe when it finishes, um, this green thing is basically caching. So it's just like basically rendering in the frames. They're not truly rendered, but they're just for previewing things. So it should start to play. Um, maybe I should say cache before play and then hit enter because it's already cached. So you'd think that would work. Yeah think that would work but all right so i'm just guess hand doing it here is not so yeah so now he's synced it's showing errors right it's showing that the tavern isn't really hooked on to the ground that well and i did a camera projection for this so i've just i was playing around so i wonder if i can just hide his feet with some rocks put a rock on the uh i wish this would play that'd be great after effects why did you fail me all right so actually i guess i don't have a choice here i'm gonna have to purge it's time to purge edit so i'm just get, getting rid of getting rid of whatever's in that folder that you assign you you basically tell after effects that they can put it here, i'll show you guys you go file is that project settings um no it's not in here it is totally not in here it's not it, there's another in preferences Right there, preferences, media and disk cache. All right, and so it's in here, and we want to. I'm going to go purge. I think you can click that. I don't know about that one. It probably does the same thing. So you tell it how many gigabytes of data it can store in there. When it gets full, you have issues. But we're going to go edit, purge, and hopefully this magically. So the seven, there's only seven gigabytes in there. Clear disk cache for all versions. Hit OK. And hopefully this magically, oh, it's doing something. It's doing something. Let's try, see, OK, so got rid of our, what it had already done. Let's hit spacebar. And it's not showing me the preview as it does it, which I would like. Oh, but I did do this just for, for S and gigs. Um, so maybe that is what has stopped it. Come on. Play. Play. Now it's not playing over here. I don't know what the issue is with this. Um, hey, Blender, are you, work are you working away down here? Oh, it's already done. That was quick. All right, let's just go to the last one tower right you are gone where is rula sarah and rula hello these guys are so in the distance on this um okay so yeah we got to go to our folder we're in output properties and we're gonna go to uh, up one rula and sarah now sarah does a lot of work with us all the time when we shoot and Rula is new to the show. Um, that was our first time on film. And uh, let's go accept. And we should be good to go. Let's go render animation. There, one more layer. That's the final layer, I believe. The final layer now. And we uh, still aren't seeing. I'd, li I'd like to see this in real time. Oh, the frame rate shouldn't be 30. It shouldn't be 23 point. All my stuff is done like 23.97. I guess this is just a preview, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, so 
can we will you please play for me i may actually have to render it out um anyways let's forget emil sorry buddy but you will have to wait let us unsolo these layers I want to bring in some fog. Now, why aren't I seeing anything? Oh, okay, I see it. It's um, rendering out the shot. All right, we are missing some things. We've got to put the puzzle pieces in place. Uh, go up a level. And what do we got? Is Rula still? Yeah, Rula still rendering. Tower right. We need to bring you in. Again, make sure this is checked. Target sequence. So basically, a video is just a pile of pictures playing really quick right so throw it right here and oh and our wall right our wall where are you uh see if you name everything it's easy you don't even have to think about it just like oh there's the wall port and let's put the wall in front of the tower there we go yeah we can blend that in it seems too right and I don't like this I wish I cut that off originally so what I'm probably gonna do is like cut that oh the tree goes across it hmm yeah I don't really like that thing there this piece but maybe I don't know we'll figure we'll figure something out and the house left or something it's called import file um da, 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 da. left side house again this is only like a five second shot as long as it looks okay i'm happy um so it's gonna go under the frog uh what happened put up oh there it is oh okay i didn't think it went that high so it's where's the ground i think let's go underneath the ground and then it cuts across here all right there we go uh, and we'll spring in. Oh, you girls aren't done yet. So we have, what are we on? 131 and they're going to 150. That's the keyframe. That's what I set. You can go down here to the right hand corner end and you can change it there. Um, but let's go into here. And I, I totally do not like that. But I, if I cut it off in this there's animation baked into it now um i guess i could go um i'll never never mind <laughs> for now anyways uh let's add some fog in here so i'm gonna go file import um on Where's Andrew Kramer? He does video co-pilot. I bought a little thing from him with some atmosphere type stuff. Uh, atmospheres. Let's just bring in one of these. These are, it's like a foggy type thing. And let's slap it on top. These are just like live elements. And let's go, I should have paid for this 1080p version, but I bought the 720p one, so I'm going to blow this thing up. So this just gives us fogish area, but I want it to be like sort of across the screen already. Okay. Let's even blow it up more. And let's go, let's slow it down. So I'm gonna right click it, go time and time stretch. Let's go 350, cause I think it's too fast. It's like a cloud, right? So then let's bring this even across even more. Maybe let's, let's go, you can go plus and minus to go in and out on the keyboard. Although, what is going on? I don't know why. Oh, oh, because it's just only set to that, right? Uh, anyways, I used to know how to do that. So just keep, click this and grab it across. This is just the time here. So this gives us a bit of a fog effect. And even if we scale this up bigger, and we can just duplicate this layer and get sort of a bit of a mist going on, which might give us some more realism. 
although it's not moving with the camera built in. So let's just put our opacity at like, I don't know, like 30. And it'll give us a bit of a mist at this front layer. And again, this is not playing. I have to scrub through manually to get this. Now, we're, are we seeing anything? There's a bit of a foggy effect. And then let's, so that's on top. Let's even go smaller, go 15%. And then let's duplicate this. Uh, control D and then put it down a few layers away. So I guess it would be, well, the ground behind the ground. So now it's back on this layer um, because it won't affect the ground layer and just put the opacity up. Let's just see where the heck this layer is. It is. So it's making this a little misty. Let's see, you can see back there, it's making a little misty. So we'll go, I don't know, like 30% on that one. And let's, uh, let's just like change the time a bit, like just move it a bit. So it's not the exact same fog and maybe let's raise it up a bit. And it's subtle stuff, but then we're going to do that again. So one more time, control D and let's bring this back to maybe in front of the sky. All right. And let's just like put it on full just so we know where it is. 100. Okay, so it's affecting the sky back there, the clouds. Let's make it a little cloudy. Um, and let's go, let's scale it up. And that should give us a little bit more depth from the issue I had was that it wasn't blending well. Um, although it doesn't seem as bright as it was, obviously, because I'm putting, because uh, as things go into the distance, they can get foggier and foggier and foggier, right? Because you're looking through like, if you're looking to a fence that's like 10 feet away, there's not much fog, but then the next fence that's 100 feet away, there's a lot of fog between the two fences, right? So it's harder to see. So it's that sort of thing, but that should give us a little more depth um, and reality to it, even though it's a little cartoony, this thing. Um, now really that, I guess that, that little tower there really gets warped as it goes in. I wonder if that's a, let's see. I don't remember that doing that, I guess. Now on top of this, we could also put layer new solid. Let's try to blend these in a bit. Now it's outside, so let's go with a blue, right? Because it'd be like blue light. Um, I'm just gonna slap this on top of everything and we'll go down to opacity and put it at like seven. And then on top of this, see it's got a blue thing on it, but we want it to make it a little more natural. So it's almost looking a little nighttime-ish too, but we're gonna go overlay just so it's a little more subtle. And I'm wondering if we should darken, like put a vignette, vignette. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Layer, we'll go to put a adjustment layer on top. Um, we'll just call this vig, that'll do. And we'll go up to this circle here, lips tool and just double click. Oh, I'm hearing some, uh, I've got CNBC on here and it's double time. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, let's go back in here and we'll go to exposure. We're going to throw this on top of the uh, thing here. We're going to go minus 0.5 on top of the layer here. And we're just going to invert that. And we'll just do a mass feather here. And that'll just darken down here a bit in the corner so your eyes are more focused on that. Uh, let's even go darker. And that just gives us that, you know, yeah, it just darkens the side so we're like, we're focusing on here. But I don't want to lose the, the sky really here. So let's just go to pen tool. I don't want the sky to be too dark. And we'll just go up 
and you can change the mask color too. See, it sort of opens up the sky, but let's just bring this darkness in there like that. Now we could also do like a grain layer on top of it. So it was like all shot with one camera, like adjustment, and I should name it. We'll go noise, and we'll go to effect, noise grain, and I guess we just add a grain, right? Match grain, add grain. Um, intensity, let's like zoom in. Um, now let's go to full so we can actually see the real grain. That rock's a little sad looking, but I'm just still learning how to do. Oh, and the preview's right there, I see. Okay, so let's move the preview layer over here. Did it move? Maybe it didn't. Um, let's go from preview to final output. It was just applying it to this, but. So what this is just doing is adding some grain on top of everything, because every camera has grain, right? So it blends stuff together. Let's 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 just check these guys out, and let's go to let's turn the effect off, and then back on. So for intensity, maybe let's go 0.5. It seemed a little strong. There, 0.5. Let's try that. It's subtle, I know subtle but it just gives us a little bit of something now it's seeming a little dark too Ooh. actually let's just save this save as um, inside bar no we are in outside bar yeah here's the shot here and we'll just call it uh, outside bar 6 Um, I think that's all I'm going to do for right now. Um, that's a little, I don't, it's a little dark. And these, I, see, I'm going to, actually, one last thing, one last thing. I think it's because this is so blown out when it's not really that bright. So let's affect, see, that's why it's great to have these on different layers. Go to the tavern. And even, what happens if we just throw, like, a bring the exposure down, just a, a shade? Bring it down by 0.5, negative 0.5. What's that do for us? All right, let's see with and without. Oh, see, it's a dark day. Um, let's turn exposure off. Let's throw some levels on there. It doesn't look so exposed as I thought now. <laughs> Your eyes will play tricks on you. It doesn't look half bad. Can we? Maybe the darks are too dark compared to the rest of the shot. So we'll bring the. Lighten up the darks a bit. No, it's taking a while to update. There we go. Okay, yeah. That, that does not work. Just a shit. Because the darks aren't too dark in this. And maybe lighten the lights. The whites. Just a bit. Sad too for us. All right. Oh, well, I'll probably keep playing. Like, I want to do shadows for these guys and fix that, I think. And then, um, I don't know. That's all I got. Uh, hey, guys, if you guys liked watching me work, I know it can be a little boring. Uh, but comment below, give me a like, and I will keep uh, releasing what I'm working on because I'm doing this stuff every day and it can get lonely. So I, I like sharing this stuff with you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Cheers. Bye.